It's so important to invest in our church community now, financially or spiritually or with other gifts and talents, because at times during the pandemic and the nation's crisis of leadership, we are all going to feel at one time or another that we need someone else's joy to recharge us. We are the community, the communion, and the body of Christ. And just as we have varied gifts and skills and talents, we're also going to have different times when we need the joy of the community to lift us up when we can't do it ourselves. We don't all have to be joyful at the same time, as long as someone is joyful. I am entrusting my joy to God in defiance of the people and the circumstances who would take it away this year. In hard times, sharing our joy can be a holy and defiant act. We are the beloved community and we will hold each other up. My prayer for the church over the next year is that we will take care of each other as God would take care of us, unconditionally and wholeheartedly. Joy, together, for joy, and in joy. That's our stewardship theme for this year. Joy is a hard concept, it seems to me. It's a hard thing to be aware of in today's climate, climate with the pandemic going on, and with massive fires and results of those, and with all of the political machinations. But as I reflected on it, it, it came to me that the topic is indeed possible. There are ways to see joy in this year's stewardship campaign. First one for me was my family moved to Eugene in 1954 from Portland. And we joined the church that my mother had been in in the 1930s and she had sang in the choir. And so Eugene first became our home church. And from the time we joined in 1954 until now, I am always overwhelmed with awe and joy as I walk under the balcony and look up and see that dome spreading out above me. Seems like forever when I was a kid. It's a joy for me to look up at that dome and to see it, see it there. And then you go to the front of the church and you look out at all the, all the pews in the sanctuary. I can see where literally thousands of worshipers have have rubbed the varnish off the pews. And it's like being surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, the joy of connection, the joy of continuity. I also get much joy from, from being with people. It, you know, in church, you worship with them, you sing with them, you pray with them, you cry with them. All of those issues happen. <clears throat> and even now, especially I'm enjoying singing with a virtual choir. Who'd have thought? A virtual choir. But just to see familiar faces and to hear voices and to participate in something together as a project is joyful. The joy of life, the joy of people. And thirdly, as treasurer of the church, it brings me really great joy to be able to sign checks that go out from the church to support local and regional and worldwide projects designed to help people. It also makes me humble and joyful that my giving is a part of what we provide to support so many. The joy of reaching out in service, the joy of gratitude. So as we enter this stewardship campaign this year to raise funds for so many needs, I encourage you no matter how much or how little you have to give to joyfully step forth and be counted among that crowd and cloud of witnesses. That over the years, that has made such an impact in our world. So God bless you, this church, and our joint mission together. Amen. Together for joy. We are the heart of Eugene. 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 We are together for joy.